Hello friends and welcome to a new session with edupediaworld.com, your favorite portal for online education. After the completion of series on correlation coefficient, today we shall begin with a new series on regression analysis. If the coefficient of correlation calculated for bivariate data is reasonably high and a cause and effect type of relationship is also believed to be existing between them, then the next logical step is to obtain a functional relationship between these variables. And this function relation is known as the regression equation in statistics. A formal definition of what regression is it is a mathematical measure of the average relationship between two or more variables in terms of the original data. It is used to determine the most suitable form of the relationship between the variables given that they are correlated. And what is regression analysis? Regression analysis helps one understand how the typical value of a dependent variable changes when any one of the independent variable is varied while the other independent variables are held fixed. Well, what are the types of regression? We have simple regression when it's between two variables and multiple regression when we have more than two variables. And further we have linear and nonlinear regression. But we shall be focusing only on simple linear regression that is the regression between two variables where one of the variable is the dependent variable and the other is independent. Before proceeding to solving questions, let's see what are the significance or what are the uses of regression. It helps in establishing a functional relationship between two or more variables. It's also used to understand which among the independent variables are related to the dependent variable and to explore the forms of these relationships. Further, re regression analysis is widely used for prediction and forecasting. Now coming to regression equations, for bivariate data, that is when we have two variables, let me call the variables as x and y, either of these two, either x or y would be dependent and the other would be independent variable. We basically have two regression equations. If x is independent and we can estimate the average value of y for a given value of x, then the relation used for such estimation is called regression of y on x. Similarly, if y is independent, then we can estimate the average value of x for a given value of y and this relation used for such estimation is called regression of x on y. So we have two equations depending on which of the variable is independent and which is dependent. We have a regression equation for y dependent on x and a regression equation for x dependent on y. Okay, so we'll have two regression lines as explained earlier. One is when y is dependent on x and it's called y and the equation given for that is y equals a plus bx. And when you have x dependent on y, then the equation would be x equals c plus dy. Now when you look at these equations, you see that these are the equations of straight line. Of course, our regression line would be a straight line. And if you recall, your equation for straight line is y equals a plus bx. Okay, so when we have the axis of x and y, a straight line is given by y equals a plus b x. Now what are these a and b? These are the constants where a is called the y intercept
and B is called the slope okay so B here is the slope of this line given by the tangent at this angle and A is the value of Y when the value of X equals 0 okay so in the same way here in these equations we have all these a b for the first equation and c and d for the second equation as constants now all of these b and d are called as the regression coefficients and as i said they are the slope that is they give the rate of change of dependent variable per unit change in the independent variable okay so in the first case when y is dependent on x your b is the rate of change of y per unit change in the value of x similarly in the second equation your d is the rate of change of y per unit change in the value of sorry rate of change of x per unit value uh, change in y what about a and c they are the values of uh, the uh, y and x respectively when the values of x and y are zero okay formally a and c are the average value of dependent variable when independent variable is zero okay and how do we calculate the values of a b c and d we have a formula uh, of course the definition uh, sorry the derivation of these formula we shall take up later on but to solve problems and to understand the working of regression we shall take a simple problem and let's take the formula as it is and solve a problem so the formula here are for the first equation when you have to calculate the value of y when y is independent sorry the one y is dependent on x and when you have to calculate the value of y then the formula would be b is given by the covariance of x and y divided by the the variance of x and that when we expand we get it in this form and when we uh, simplify it we have b equals n times summation xi multiplied by yi minus summation of xi multiplied by summation of yi divided by n times summation xi square minus summation xi the whole square and a equals the average value of y minus b times the average value of x in the same way the regression equation of x dependent on y would be x equals c plus dy where d the regression coefficient is given by covariance between x and y divided by sigma y square now covariance between x and y so the numerator would be the same but the denominator changes instead of the variance of x now we have variance of y therefore the formula would be d equals n times summation xi yi minus summation xi into summation yi divided by n times summation yi square minus summation yi the whole square and the value of c would be equal to the average value of x minus d times the average value of y all right so let's take a problem and try to solve it and see the working of regression uh, analysis so here we have a simple problem where you have the data of x and y given we shall use both the regression equation of x on y as well as y on x okay so here we have the values of x we have the values of y let's find the sum as we need the average values also so the sum of x and sum of y are needed okay so you have the sum of x and y then if you recall the formula you have let's start with 
the regression equation of y on x for which we need b to find b you need the summation of the product of x and y and you also need the square of x okay so let's find the product of x and y that will be given by the product of these two values we can use the same for the rest of the cells here and then we need x square x raised to power 2 also for the next equation we need y square therefore let's do that as well so x square would be the square of the value here and y square would be the value of 6 raised to power 2 let me drag this down to all the cells yeah and then the sum of these okay so we have the sums of all of these here what else do we need well we have let's just have a look at the formula we have the sum of the product of xi into yi we have summation of xi summation of yi we have the square of xi as well n is nothing but the number of uh, data and then for the value of a we need the average value of y and average value of x so the average value here we can calculate from the uh, sum and that will be equal to the value here divided by the total number of data which is equal to 5 so our n is 5 so we have the averages also here okay and let me write that in the value of n equals 5 okay so now we are ready to use the formula to calculate b let's do it in parts because uh, let's do the numerator first the first part of numerator we need n multiplied by the sum of the values so it's this value n multiplied by summation xi yi okay n multiplied by summation xi yi next let's do this summation xi multiplied by summation yi so that will be summation xi multiplied by summation yi so here when we take the difference of these two i'll get my numerator so numerator will be equal to the difference between these two the value here minus the value here okay and then in the denominator we have n times summation xi square minus summation xi the whole square so let's do that together you have n times summation xi square which is this value multiplied this minus summation xi the whole square which is this value summation xi raised to power 2 just to make things clear let me put these values in parenthesis this is your first part and this is the second part okay this is our denominator and finally the value of b is the value here divided by the value here okay so the value of b is coming to be 0 0.8 proceeding in the same way let's find the value of a for a we need the average values we already have them so a equals the formula for a is average value of y minus b times average value of x so average value of y here we know is 4 minus b times b is 0 
times the average value of x okay and that's coming to be minus 3.2 all right in the same way we can calculate the values for y let me do that uh, here know that our numerators are the same so let me just copy this part and to calculate the denominator instead of taking the values of x this time we have the values of y so it's be equal to n multiplied by summation y i square which is this number minus summation y i raised to power 2 well that is also equal to 50 so obviously we will get our d same as that of b simply the value of numerator divided by the value of denominator here and to calculate the value of c again c equals x bar the average value of x which is 9 minus d times the average value of y and that happens to be 5.8 well so we have the values of uh, b and d here and then uh, we can write our both both our equations the equation of x on y and y on x and that will be the first equation when your y depends on x that is your equation of y on x in short uh, which is given by y equals a plus b x would be equal to y and these are the regression values of y a is minus 3.2 plus b is 0 0.8 times x this is our first equation and the second equation when your x depends on y in short we can say x on y equation which is given by x equals c plus d y the value of that will be equal to x equals c is 5.8 so it will be 5.8 plus d which is again 0 0.8 times y so this is a second equation simple indeed so this is how we find the regression equations that's all we have in this session uh, in the upcoming sessions we shall see how to derive the uh, formula we shall see a shorter version of this formula and also we shall see for the further analysis of these answers and the interpretations thanks for watching edupedia world videos